Thank you. Goodbye. Next time I take the train. What a landing. I almost followed my bridge work. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Oh, Miss Whitaker, I'm terribly sorry. The landing was a little bumpy. A little bumpy? No, I felt everything. <laughs> Goodbye. 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 You call yourself a pilot, you lame brain. Why, well, you couldn't be a pilot in a stable. And furthermore... Oh, never mind, boys. Everything turned out all right? Yeah, sure, after I took over the control. Oh, stop making yourself a hero. Pilots Clark and Drake. Pilots Clark and Drake. Report to Mr. Nunnally's office immediately. That ought to make you very happy. All right, it was my fault. I'll tell him. Sure you do this, then. Shirley, you better come along. You're the boss. I was looking over your records this morning. Clark and Drake, a couple of seasoned pilots. I'd like to know what they seasoned you with. But, Mr. Shut Miller. up! You overshoot the field, clown around with those power lines, and then dump a hundred thousand dollar piece of equipment like a seasick pigeon. Nice shot, sir. Yeah, wasn't it? They call him Wackaroo. The doctor gave them to me. And every time I get mad, shh, keeps my blood pressure down. Clark, I'm grounding you for three months. If you're a pilot... Hey, but you don't have to ground me. I was quitting anyhow. What? Maybe I got an idea. And I'll be hiring pilots away from you before you know it. If you don't work for this airline, you won't you work for any other... You can take airline and go fly it. Give me that. And I'm taking Shirley with me, too. Now, listen, Clark. I'm sorry, Mr. Nunley, but you can see how it is. Jim and I... Well, of all the ungrateful double-crossers... Goodbye, Goodbye <laughs> Nunley, and do watch your blood pressure. There. Too bad, Clark. You were going to talk up. What happened? Come on, Jim. What happened? He had me on a spot. On a spot, huh? Well, here's another spot for Jim, you. Jim, stop before you lose your temper. What's with him? He fainted. Ah. Uh, how about a date tonight, Shirley? Sorry, she's busy. Busy? Hi, Drake. Now on, we concentrate on us. Right, baby? Right. Partners? Partners. <laughs> Riley. Where's Riley? He's supposed to be fixing that magneto. His wife's going to have huh? a baby, don't you remember? Oh, no, not today. Not according to his calendar. Jim, you got flowers for the bride. Delphinium. Oh, Miss Smith will just love them. I kind of figured she was the delphinium type, but I think I'd better put them in water, huh? That was sweet of you. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> For Shirley, hoping it's yes, Bob. Delphinium type. Flowers for the bride. Well, I'll be careful. You're spoiling. Those are my sure flowers. Wait. I gotta get this thing. It's a little heavy. Say, so where are those tabs, huh? The tabs, you know what I mean. The bills, the bills. What's I happened? know, I've got them. The idea, you hijacking the flowers Bob Fuller sent me. Well, why waste the flowers? I suppose it's a waste to send me flowers. What do you do with them? You put them in a vase Bob. and serve by a nightfall or will it and you throw them out. This way we can make a flash on Miss Smith. Well, make a flash with your own flowers. Oh, sure, 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 sure. And another thing I want to tell you. I think you ought to be on the square with this Bob Fuller. Letting him send you flowers and take you out. First thing you know, the guy will be getting ideas, that's what. Well, someone has to get ideas, don't they? And someone has to take me out, don't they? You better put those in water. Cheap flowers wilt quickly. Riley, come on. Get on that magneto, will you? You can't play around with the food all day. Come on. Magneto. Uh, oh, Peggy's been awful nervous-like. Nervous? That baby isn't due for eight days, and you know it. Yeah, but does the baby. Oh, what are you looking for? I forget. What's the matter with you lately? Oh, you know. Oh, well, quit worrying. I told you I'd give you the dough. Oh, I didn't mean that, Jim. I didn't want you to go on, get her a private room, and for Pete's sake, get some work done, will you? Two hundred bucks. This takes care of everything. Gee, Jim, I don't know how to... The magneto. The, the magneto. Yeah, two hundred magneto. That's the boy. That's the boy. The guy's getting Sorry. worse and worse. I'll break his neck someday. He's never been a father before. Put yourself in his position. Hmm. What's this? The army has made changes since that restaurant. How would you like me to get the transformer itself for you? That would be difficult. 
and dangerous. The Air Force values this secret very highly, I'm told. I got that, didn't I? Well, of course. But getting it is one thing, and getting it out of the country is another. I have an idea about that, too. Yes? Yeah. A chump I know runs the Honeymoon Air Service to Las Vegas. I owe him something. Your friend uh, would fly us out? Sure. But he doesn't know it yet. I see. I notice in today's intention to wed column that you have... Jim, why not say something like this? Since you are planning to be married shortly, why not consider a romantic elopement by plane to colorful Las Vegas, the honeymoon air service? Why don't you answer your phone? Hello, Shirley. Hello, Mr. Nunley. Hello, Nunley. How's Mrs. Nunley and all the little wackaroos? And get this through your thick skull. I'm not coming back. You've had six months of this playing around. Now, why don't you come on back to work? How do you like that? He thinks I'm playing. Mr. Nunley, in six months, we've paid for the plane. That takes more than cigar coupons. Uh, flying nitwits on elopements. The 20th century Cupid. Cupid Clark, that's me. I give them something to hold their marriage together long after they get on each other's nerves. Oh, he believes it. All right, how did you get married and where did you go? Why, I took my wife down to the justice. Oh, I can just see it. Driving downtown through a maze of brewery trucks to the city hall. And when you got there, you went into the license bureau, didn't you? Mm -hmm. And you waited. Mm -hmm. And the guy ahead of you was getting a license, wasn't he? Mm. For his dog. Uh, I'll bet your wife still wakes you up at night and talks about it. I won't stand for this. Now what do I give them? I give them something to cherish the rest of their lives. Flight on the wing. Flight, flight. Ah, here it is. Flight on the wings of a bird. Two hearts. Two hearts soaring to unity through the heavens. Then Las Vegas. The western Gretna Green. A colorful justice of the peace. Yeah, we added the beard to his get-up. And they love it. They oh. love it. A beard. Romance. Uh, listen, when Shirley says it, I can believe it. She's sincere, but you? If she walked out on you tomorrow, that would be the finish of honeymoon air service. Romance. You've got an adding machine for a brain and a checkbook for a hot work. Why, you fine, sensible girl like you. When you left, I thought that he was going to marry you. <laughs> oh. That Nunley, he's a guy, just a great big jealous kid. You know, we're, we're really doing things out. You've been a great help. A great help. Thank you, Jim. Gee, we've been a swell team together, haven't we? A swell team and... and... Yes. What about Bitzler? 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 Yeah, the dope that called up about the rates. Go on, get him on the telephone. Tell him you'll knock off a sawbuck if he gets his biddy down here by 2.30. We're traveling light anyway. Bitzler. Why, what's the matter? Nothing. Nothing at all. You and your Bitzler. Hello, Federal Airport. Boots, will you get me outside? Oh, Riley! Oh, don't do that. What are you doing in my drawers? I was looking for the frosting squeezer. The cake's getting a little grimy around the edges. Riley, I'm the typewriter. Oh, hurry up. Get those rosettes fixed and get back there on that magneto. Mr. Bixler, please. Riley, what are you, a mechanic or a midwife, huh? I gotta fix this thing. Holy smoke, $32 for stationery. That's for the new form letters to engaged couples. But 30... Well, you'll just have to get me 60 days credit, that's all. Well, what about the $200 in the checking account? Oh, well, you know what happened? Oh, now, Riley, Riley, get back to the Magneto. Go on, fix it now. Well, I'll help you. Hello, Mr. Bitzler. This is the Honeymoon Air Service. Yes, I wanted to... No, Mr. Bitzler. Didn't you want her to know you loaned me the money? No, I don't want her to think I'm getting soft like her. All right, all right. But thanks anyway. Well, one of these days I'll be taking the wife to the hospital. See, boys, you don't know what it feels like to have a private room for Peggy. Ah, I forget. You know, Shirley's nuts about you, boss. Why don't you two... Oh, you starting that again. All I hear around here is babies and romance. Gee, Shirley's a swell kid. I got a soft spot in my heart for her, but... You know how she is. She's loved to be about every couple that comes around here. Holy mackerel, if I was to marry her, she'd want to quit her job tomorrow. She'd want one of those little cottages with ivy running around the walls, kids running around the floor, ants running around the sink. Is that bad? Gee, Riley, I got a great idea here, and I need Shirley doing just what she's doing. Yeah, but one of these days, she's going to get fed up. 
Have you seen Bob Fuller around here today? Fuller? Yeah, he's over at the pilot house, getting some stuff for his column. I'll ring him. Hello? Who? Fuller. Me? Hello? Hello, Bob. Oh, hello, Shirley. Don't you guys touch my hand. Yes, Shirley. I thought you'd like delphiniums. You have? You will? Oh, surely. You're coming over right away? Swell. Bye-bye. Sold him, huh? Sold who? Pitzler. Pitzler? He broke up with his girl. How do you like that? Everything happens to me. Oh, I wish I were the type that took Bill. Broke up with his girl. Well, don't yell at me. I didn't break him up. Who said you did? Who'd you say was coming over? Bob Fuller, the man I'm going to marry. Who? Marry? Oh, Shirley, you can't do a thing like that. Oh, can't I? I'm Love Dippy Shirley, remember me? I'm the girl who wanted the ivy around the door, and the kids running around the ants, and the sink running around the floor, and I finally found somebody that's going to give them to me, and right now. Ah, oh, but you're not in love with that nincompoop. You just had him around for less. That's what I mean. That sort of thing. Well, I won't have to put up with it any longer. Oh, Shirley. You're just ribbon, aren't you? Hmm? Yeah. You're excited. Sit down. We'll talk it over. That's the girl. No! You've been talking to me for six months, and that's all you've done. Well, I got a business to run. What do you want me to do? Sit around here and make love to you? Huh? You! I should say not. Nunnally was right. You've an adding machine for a brain and a checkbook for a heart. All right, if that's the way you feel about it, go ahead and marry the lug. That's just what I'm going to do. And I'll get my things right now. Yeah, and furthermore, I hope you have triplets, and they all turn out to be nincompoops. That's what I hope. See, what I tell you, she means it. Yeah, I'm afraid she does. Remind me to get a lot of those wackaroos like Nunnally has. Nunnally wackaroos, one gross. Oh, shut up and give me time You're to think. You're not just going to sit there, are you? You can't let her walk out like that. You've got to do something. You two were made for each other. You know, like the old saying, two peas in a pod. I never saw it rush this over to Gracie on the telegraph desk. <laughs> All quit breaking yourself up and get that phony telegram back here right away. Do you understand? Fuller will be here any minute. You can trust me, boss. I'll be back in a flash. Yes, sir. Riley! Oh, Riley! Riley, tell her the date line at Hackensack and hurry. Shirley. Well, 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 if it isn't Bobby Fuller. Speak of the devil, I was just calling you on the telephone. See, I got the receiver in my hand. See? Sit down, make yourself at home, kid. Thanks. You, uh, wanted to see me? Oh, yeah. Uh, you remember Murph Corrinson used to fly with me, don't you? Yeah. He's got a big aviation plant back in New Jersey. New Jersey? Yeah, Hackensack. Hackensack? Yeah, take a peek at this. I just got it. Public Relations Council. Now, yeah, Murph told me he wanted a Public Relations Council, so who do I think of right Hello? off the bat, huh? Now, That's me. right, Bobby Fuller, huh? Huh? What? I don't want... No, I've got the party I want. Yeah, thanks. But, uh, I thought you didn't like me. 
Oh, Bob Fuller, whatever gave you that idea? You know about Shirley and me. Do I know? Why, I'm the guy. I'm the guy that kept telling Shirley, well, that Bob Fuller's your man. Don't lose him. That's your man. Whatever you do. Do I know? You're asking me. Oh, are you kidding? Gee, I had you all wrong. Oh, there's only one trouble with that Carnes and Berth, though. It only pays 150. 150? A week. A week? To start. To start? Well, gee, Shirley, and I can buy a house out. Sure, sure, sure. Now, don't talk about it anymore. Don't even thank me, think. Tell you what I want you to do. I want you to rush back there and get a couple of weeks' salary. See, send for Shirley, because Carnes wants you there the first thing in the morning. Understand? Says so right yeah, here. That's right. Now, you can take the afternoon plane, okay? Well, I don't know. I got a lot of quick decisions. That's what Carnes wants. What? You'll go a long way with Bert. Run oh, get the man's bag. Well, that's right. You haven't got any bags, have you? See, this has been a swell day. First Shirley, then this. What about Shirley? Oh, don't worry. I'll explain everything to her. Don't worry a thing. Who'll explain what to Shirley? Shirley! It's wonderful. He's got me a job. 150 a week to start. Yeah, start. In Hackensack. Hackensack? Murph Collins did, I presume. Yeah, he's got to grab a plane out of here in five minutes. Come yeah. on, here's your hat, bud. Nobody's grabbing any plane out of here. But Shirley! Confidentially, she's a little sore at me. Now look, Shirley, you're not gonna let a little thing like Bob, this... Bob, I'll take care of this. Where'd this job come from all of a sudden, Houdini? Well, Murph phoned me, so I recommended Bob. Why, sure, it's right here in the wire, see? Full of man okay. Must be here by Thursday. I can read. Well, I was just trying to help you kids, that's all. Yeah, help. I don't believe it. That's gratitude for you. Well, I'll explain. No, don't explain. Look, Shirley, you're not gonna stand in his way when he needs it most, are you? It looks mighty funny. Well, what do you want me to do? Phone Hackensack? Yes. All right. Boots, get me long distance. Long distance. I want Murph Corrinson in Hackensack, New Jersey. Hackensack 29943. I don't understand you kids. You want to get married. I want to help you. And what do you want? Uh, the little guy looks kind of wore out. Well, what do you think you'd look like at the end of 18 weddings? Take him out and get him fixed. Gee, you could go back there and settle down, get yourself a little cottage all covered over with ivy, and you could send for the little one. What, already? <clears throat> oh, hello, Murph. Hmm? This is Jim, yep. Yep, I landed him for you. The greatest publicity man on the coast. Mr. Carnson isn't in, Mr. Clark. Ah, oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah, he's leaving by plane this afternoon. I'm trying to tell you he isn't in. What's the matter? Can't you hear me? Ah, oh, don't thank me. Just do the same for me sometime, that's all. My dear sir, I'm trying to tell you Mr. Corrinson is not in. <laughs> well, if you're happy, I'm happy. <laughs> so long, Murph. Oh, that Murph kills me. He gets hysterical. He sounds like a tenor. Well, it's okay now, huh? It's okay. You're going to Hackensack, and I'm going with him. Oh, now, wait a minute, Shirley. You can't do a thing like that. And why can't I? Yeah, why can't she? Right off the bat, he'd be burning the midnight oil. Yeah, midnight oil. I'll burn some, too. Well, now, look, Murph doesn't want his public relations man coming back there burdened down with a wife. He'll need him by his side every minute, don't you understand? Yeah, every minute. Now, look, Shirley, Jim knows this, Carnson, and if he says it's okay, why it's Bob, up. I'll handle this. Look, I might as well tell you the truth. Shirley and I have had a little difficulty, and she wants to walk out on me. Now, I thought you could go back then, get all settled down, and she could stay with me for a couple of weeks. And... Jim's right. Right or wrong, I... No, today's wedding is informal. I'll put on a sport coat. Jim. Hackensack's a long way off, and you've only got a minute to catch that plane. That plane, yeah, the Jim. plane. Jim, that's my bag. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Riley. Yeah. Well, I got... Honeymoon air sir. Oh, Peggy. A pain? Well, what kind of a pain? Well, describe it to me. Yeah? First you had a feeling like an earthquake. Yes, go on. Then your head started buzzing. Yeah. Sure it wasn't the back door? Oh, no. Huh? Yeah, well, I... Uh, why are you bothering me about a toothache at a time like this? Honeymoon Air Service, James Clark speaking. Hello, Jim. Got a call for you from Hackensack. Hackensack? 
Oh, hello, Hack. Riley? Yeah, just a minute. Riley. Oh. Peggy? No, it's Hackensack. Oh. Hello, Murph. Jim. What the... What's my secretary talking about? You're sending me a publicity man. Yeah, I'm pulling a gag. But what do I want with a publicity man when I'm making a secret bomb site? You hire the dope for 150 a week. What's going on? What is this? Yeah, for one week, and then you toss him out on his ear. <laughs> How is Shirley, by the way? Yeah, she's fine. How's your alimony? You take the phone. You think you're pretty smart, don't you? Huh? You didn't fool me for a minute. I didn't? I know what you've been up to all the time. You do? Sure. You gave that $200 to Riley. Oh, what are you gonna do with a woman like that, Riley? She knows everything. You see? His name is Danilo. Thursday at 2.30. Excellent. Thank you. We shall be there. Well, that worked out all right. Hmm? Perfect, Colonel Boro. You better leave for Las Vegas at once. Right away. I'll pick up the transform and see you on the plane. Are you sure you can get in that honeymoon plane without any excitement? You leave that to me. I'll see you Thursday in Las Vegas. just don't seem to mean a thing to Peggy. Honeymoon air service. Peggy. Hackensack. Bitzler. Oh. oh, hello, Mr. Bitzler. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm terribly busy right now. Yes. No, 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 Mr. Bitzler. No. Well, if you have any good ideas, please do call. Yes. Yes. Goodbye, Mr. Bitzler. Goodbye. I can't understand it. Three times I've wired him. Bitzler? No, Bob Fuller. Oh, that guy. You'll hear from him. Now, what do you suppose Bitzler wants? Wants me to help kidnap her. Uh-uh. What are you worried about? Bob. And if I don't get word from him today, I'm leaving for Hackensack myself. Oh, here they come. Riley, get the bags. Yes, sir. Stop worrying. He's all right. How do I look? I'm... I will worry, and I am leaving. Straighten your tie. Right over there. Will you help me carry this? Here, you take this. Yeah. Here they come. Don't forget the smile. How do you do, Mr. Gimble? You're right on time. Yeah, I didn't want to miss it. <laughs> this is Mr. Clark. Won't you come in? Mr. Karolek, is that right? Correct. <laughs> and this is Veronica. Oh, no. Oh, no, this is Veronica. Yes. Nila. How do you do? These brides must all look alike to you. <laughs> Not at all. Mr. Karolek, Mr. Gimble... Uh, we introduced and... ourselves in the car. Oh, just the plane, Chester. Yes, that's what I thought. It always makes noise. Yes, dear, I know. Oh, you have met Mr. Clark, haven't you? Oh, oh, how do you do? So you're going to be our pallbearer. Veronica, you mean best man. Oh, of course. Paul Barry's are for graduation. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't they? Could be. <laughs> uh, would you care to get started now? If we don't get started, we'll never get going. <laughs> Chief or master or something. 
just what are you, dear? Al Patrol reporting, sir. Well, boys, I... I heard you were eloping, sir. So, emergency assembly. The Al Patrol presents you with this token of their esteem. And, uh... Anyway, good luck, sir. Well, boys, I don't know what to say, but... That's just gonna be pretty nice. You must use that sailor's knot I taught you last week. Well, well, this is nice. An owl. An owl? Sure, the owl patrol. Prove your mail. Oh, I know a better place to put it. Veronica, please. Oh, well, we could put it up in the attic and cover it with cobwebs. And... Oh, sure. Uh, well, boys, I don't know what to say, but this Attention. is not Attention! About face! Forward march! That was uh, very, very nice, Mr. Kimball. Very touching. Now, shall we go? Well, yes, guess we might as well. Sure. <laughs> Getting initiated? Quiet, I'll stick an owl on you. Hey, Jim, I forgot. I promised Jake Burbank you'd bring back that motor block for him. Oh, you did, huh? Well, in that case, you can come along and help load it. Okay. Oh, I can't go to Las Vegas. Why not? Oh, what about Peg, the baby? She's already in the hospital. At the rate she's going, you could fly to New York and back before anything happens. Oh, I better call her. Hospital. Yeah, at the hospital. Owls. Hello, Peggy. Well, well, how's the little woman? You, you are, eh? Well, can't they do something? They did. <whistles> uh, listen, I gotta go to Las Vegas to load a motor block. Yeah, and... But I tell you, I gotta go. Oh, gee, don't give me any arguments, Peggy. After all, you... Now, now, look, just don't do anything till I get back. Vegas. NC 17376 Las Vegas. Okay. 
Okay, Jim, come in on runway two. And stay away from the north end of the field. They've got a bomber out for inspection. NC-17376, Las Vegas. Okay, Dave. Passes inspection 100%. Sure as a sweetheart, sir. Have your crew here for the test tomorrow at 9. Be on time, sir. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Hello, Leo. How are you? You're flying this block back for him. That's right, Jerry. Hey, Riley. Yeah. Come on, Riley. Give us a lift, will you? This block's plenty heavy. Sure, I'll give him a lift. Okay, you guys. He too. Come on. Let's go. Get her in here. Right up here. I'll help you. Who's the daisy? Oh, I'm excited, I guess. You see, I've never seen much of anything except Chester. I've never even been married before. Now, wait a minute. Take it easy. I got the lumber. Push from that end. This thing's plenty heavy. Hiya, Shirley. Hello, Dave. Four refugees, huh? Two very nice couples. Hey, will you put your stamp on this? They're in a hurry. Dopes. Is that so? I'm getting married myself in a day or so. Jim? No. A big public relations man back in Hackett. Hey, boys, be sure you get that block well back. Yeah, be sure you get that well... Jim, I want to talk to you. That's nothing unusual. Go ahead. Well, we can't afford to lose Shirley. Who said we were? We got to switch off his transmitter. I tell you, she's leaving after this trip. I don't believe it. Oh, wait, hold it, Dave. This ought to be good. Oh, boys, watch that block, will you? What do you think this is, a truck? You used to be glamorous to her. But lately, all you've been doing is bickering and poo-pooing the suckers. Well... You just ain't got no glamour no more. Didn't know you noticed. So what are you driving at, anyhow? Well, if you could kind of do something heroic. Heroic? Yeah. Like that uh, Superman stuff. Superman? Uh-huh. Listen, baby, I think you hit the jackpot. I know what I'll do. I'll gag it up. I'll get myself a brand new suit of glamour with two pair of pants. One will do, but you better do it quick. Don't oh, worry, baby. My hero. Lou. Hi, you fella. What are you doing up here? I'm working here. I'm testing. Not the XP-62. Uh-huh. Congratulations. Thanks. They incidentally, they tell me that new bomber's the fastest thing there is. Has uh, some new transformer or something. Well, I can't tell you anything now, kid, but uh, stick around about 9 o'clock tomorrow morning and I'll surely show you something. I wish I could. Got to get these folks married, show them around town, fly them back. Say, will you leave these upstairs for me? Glad Hello, Shirley. Hello, Lou. So long. Bye.
This thing is worth a lot of dough. Yeah, I know. Where's mine? You'll get it. As soon as I contact the guy that's paying for it. That wasn't our bargain. You said... Oh, wait a minute. Give that back or give me the dough. I'm taking an awful chance. Why, when they test that ship, it'll burn so fast, nobody will know whether this thing is missing or not. I'm not falling for that stuff. You're not going to double-cross me. Oh, wait a minute, Whalen. You're in big business. Why, at 24 hours... Don't you think it's nice? Of course it's nice. I'm going to put my piece of cake under my pillow tonight and eat it in the morning. <laughs> oh, you don't want to sleep on wedding cake. You're married already. Well, a girl can't take too many precautions nowadays, I always say. Veronica. And anyway, Chester, I'm not hungry now. Is your cake just like mine? Boy, I'm in a hurry to get back. Yeah, they're going to give us a party. <laughs> well, well, that'll be. <laughs> oh, I love parties. Oh, sorry. File this and take the steps away, will you? What are you trying to do, kill somebody? I'll use my own steps. Speaking of Junior, not now, not now. What are please. you two hatching now? Well, want to get down? Getting out? Well, the might. Jim! Jim Clark! Well, if it isn't Mr. Drake. What holds you crawl out of? Jim, will you give me a lift back to Los Angeles? Why should I? Well, I know how you feel, and I don't blame you, but I haven't worked since Nunnally fired me a couple of weeks after you left. Well, so what? You said he'd give me another chance if I could get back by tomorrow. Why should I go around playing taxi driver for you, huh? Oh, come on, Jim. Give him a break. What would you do if you were in a spot? I was. All right, come on. No dice. 
What planes have been in or out since this happened? Only Jim Clark's honeymoon air service. Two eloping couples. Say, Drake and Clark used to be co-pilots. Co-pilots? You better contact Clark right now. He's about 20 minutes out. I don't know if I can reach him. Las Vegas to NC-17376. Las Vegas to NC-17376. Kicking up a little headwind. We'd better check the weather. Take over, will you, Drake? Las Vegas. NC-17376, Las Vegas. Come in, Dave. I got him. Las Vegas to... Edwin's here. What about Los Angeles? Jim, hang on a minute. There's been a mechanic killed at the Perry plant. Rocky Drake was seen with the guy this week. Thought maybe you'd seen him. They want to check his fingerprints with a gun they found. Okay, Jim, go ahead. Thanks, Dave. I'll turn around and sit down. Where are you going? Terrific fog ahead. Sorry, folks, there's fog ahead. We'll have to go back to Las Vegas. Stop the clowning, Clark. Set your course for Mexico. Are you kidding? Never mind the jokes. Headed for Mexico. But if I don't, you won't use that. You're not fooling anybody with that fog act. You're not taking me back. What's the idea? Trip me. Can't see the guy's got a gun? Well, everybody stay just where you are. Easy. The act. Don't you mean the hero? Superman stuff. Superman? How'd you know? Leave it to Shirley. You can't get away with this, Drake. Oh, smart guy, huh? Drake's in the plane with him. Shut off that transmitter. What is it? What's going on? His radio's out.
Scoundrels! in the trunk over there. Okay. Oh, I better get my owl, too. Mr. Clark, what's this? This thing. XP-62, XP... This is the transformer off the army bomber. Well, what's it doing here? If that plane flies without this gadget, it'll be blown in a million pieces. I'll take that. I just missed it. I can understand Carolike doing something like that for his country, but Julia... I get 20 grand for my share. Not bad for a second-rate pilot, huh? Why, Don't you... be silly.
How much longer will it be? How do I know? I'm just as anxious to get out of here as you are. Nice playmate you pick. Gee, it's just like one of those adventure stories you're always telling your boys. Oh, they'd never believe this one. Gee whiz. What's the matter? I've got an idea. Where's the other toolkit? I left it out by the tail. Thanks. trying to fly out, Mr. Clark. The only way out of here is to fly out. He thought just because he took our matches, I couldn't light a fire. Huh, I hadn't been a scout master all these years for nothing. Do you mean to tell me you lit a signal fire in that dry brush? Sure. They're probably looking for us. They'll fly over and see the fire and come right down the You here. idiot! Well, this place will go up like a torch. Go and see if you can repair the plane. That's our only chance. Tell the girls to get ready right away. Well, Mr. Carrick. Oh. I don't know. Soon, I hope. Mr. Clark's trying to get the plane fixed and Oh, we've got to get out of here. Well, what about what's driving? Let's try her once more. See what she'll do. Okay. She's got to go this time. Give her a break. That's it, let's go. Fine. Get the rest of the stuff. Hurry. Are you sure? Come on, Riley, we're getting out of here. I'll bring the blankets. What? One moment. Break the fires out. We're not needed any longer. Come on, Sander. Break. Hold on till we get in. Drake, you're certainly consistent. Why not? This kind of gets us even, Clark. They're going to leave a kid of burn! You keep out of this! Get over.
and safety. Now you fly us out. I don't fly this plane out of here unless everybody goes. There's no time for bargaining. All right? Tender. Get the transformer out of his pocket. Everybody in the plane for it's too late. Come on. Fly, fly. Come on, hurry. Hurry up! Never mind him. about Pappy Riley. He'll be all right. I feel fine. Oh. <laughs> Take it away. Oh, Chester. You know, you look so glamorous with your arm in a slingshot. <sighs> Veronica. I lost the owl. Oh, don't worry. Maybe they'll give you a turkey this time. A turkey? Veronica. Well, they're always giving you the bird. <laughs> Veronica! Well, right behind you, Riley. Hey, Riley, there's a call for you. For me? I'll see if it'll reach. I almost said he wasn't here. He almost wasn't. 
Hello? Peggy! It's Peggy. Well, what was it? A boy? Uh, a girl? Nothing. <laughs> Listen, Peg, I'm a sick man. Stop gagging and tell me. Now, if... Huh? Where are you? Oh, home. Home? Well, what are you doing? No. Huh? I must have tore off two pages from the calendar instead of one. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, look, Peg, we've already paid for the hospital room. Uh, well, I, I... Oh, yeah. That's very practical. I can use it myself. <laughs> All right, Peg. See me at the hospital. Two pages instead of one. <laughs> That's pretty good. Hey! Wait a minute, that room's in the maternity ward. Oh. Now, oh. Oh, wait a minute, the guy that came just put me in there. Here he goes. So there oh. you are. Well, Bobsy Wobsy Fuller, Don't welcome home. Bobsy Wobsy Fuller, you me, you are two languages, time. ladies present. Ladies, you sent me on a wild goose chase to Hackensack. But you did get your job, and you saw Murph Carrington. Saw Carrington. There were so many guards around, I couldn't get into the factory. I couldn't even get into Hackensack. Oh, and you came. I'm sorry, Shirley. What did you say? I said I couldn't even get into Hackensack. But you did get into New Jersey. It's Philadelphia and New Jersey. Bob, I'm sorry, but I'm going to marry Jim. You're going to marry Jim? What about me? You're going to be the best man. Congratulations. Oh, wait oh, a yes. minute. We'll take him with us to Las Vegas for the wedding tomorrow. Las Vegas? Oh, that's not for us. Of course it is. Now, wait a minute. Now, you stay out of this, chum. I tell you, we're going to the city hall. We are not. A girl only gets married once in her life. And she wants some glamour attached to it. We don't I'm need not going to get on any streetcar. We know that we're in love with each other. We know we're going to get a car. We're not going to Las Vegas. Ah, and that's all there is to it.